When in Rome, you can now see what the ancient Romans once saw. Seth Doan gives us a dose of virtual reality. 2,000 years ago, this labyrinth, now under the city of Rome, was the sprawling home of Emperor Nero. Oh. But the colors, light, and opulence of this ancient Roman villa were unimaginable until this month, when visitors could start using virtual reality glasses. Tom Popup is visiting from New York. You always try and imagine in your mind what it must have been like, and this helps tremendously. Virtual reality brings to life the Domus Aria's grand architecture, rich colors, and opulent walls inlaid with precious gemstones. All of it had been lost for centuries. This entire room was filled with soil yes. like this. Yes, and also other spaces and other rooms of the totally Domus Aria was in. completely filled. And we know now... Alessandro Di Alessio, the uh, chief archaeologist here, explained how this place was buried following Emperor Nero's death. It was forgotten about for nearly 1,500 years until Renaissance artists tunneled down into what they believed was an ancient Roman cave. The marvelous frescoes they saw influenced art for centuries, and their paintings of this site would become a roadmap for a much later so generation of digital artists. More. We have the gold. Raffaele Carlani is an architect and graphic designer whose company, Catatexi Lux, painstakingly created the virtual reality show. We have this strange shape here. So you go back to these Renaissance paintings to recreate what this looked like. Yes. And then tr transition to here digitally. Yes. It's Italy, so of course his studio has its own frescoed ceiling. Working from the town of Emilia outside Rome, designers used the graphically rich technology of video games to virtually transport tourists inside the ancient Duomus Aria. Francesco Prosperetti is the superintendent for archaeology in Rome. He was the one who pushed to use virtual reality here. It's interesting, this concept of using modern technology to understand ancient history. To get closer to these things of the, of the uh, ancient past, the only way is to use technology. The architecture and paintings here influence the likes of Michelangelo and Raphael. Excavation work continues. There is still another 30% of this palace to be unearthed. Seth Doan, CBS News, Rome.